Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stephanie's Laralyn. I'm Stephanie. First off, I just want to say I'm really sorry for the lack of content and videos on my channel lately, but December has been very busy. I say December, but I mean literally since I started school in September, I've been very busy <laughs> because that's just what sixth year in school in Ireland is like. Very busy and full of exams and stress. I am also sorry for my voice in this video. I do have a sore throat, so if it's croaky and it gets annoying, I apologize for that. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a kind of wrap up of the books I've read recently. I did a wrap up in August and then actually in September, I read about five books and then it slowly dwindled after that. In October, I ended up reading seven books and then November only read one. And in the, what is it? We're on the 10th of December now. In those 10 days, I've read one singular book as well. So I'm just going to do a wrap up of the books I read in October and November. I don't know if this will be interesting or not. And I also have probably forgotten the majority of my thoughts on these books. So I'm very sorry if this video is convoluted and chaotic. But then again, so are all my videos. Let's take a minute to appreciate this gorgeous Raven Cycle jumper that my bestie Quiva got me. I love you, Quiva. Thank you. But other than that, let's get started because I have eight books to talk about and they're quite mixed reviews. I started off the month reading a book that to me felt really like Christmas and I actually really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it four stars and it's a book I've wanted to read for a while now and it is quite hyped up on booktube and that's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I have read Erin Morgenstern's other popular book, The Starless Sea. Well, actually I say I've read, but I started reading it and DNF'd it because I didn't like it. I, I enjoyed the writing style, but I thought it was way too focused on the writing style and how whimsical it was supposed to be. That just for me just didn't quite hit the mark. And I found myself really confused and I thought the whole thing was quite convoluted but then again I only got I think like 20% into it so it could have ended up fixing itself through the rest of the book but just for me I didn't enjoy the way it was structured and put together but The Night Circus was totally opposite to that I adored The Night Circus and I can't remember why I gave it four stars instead of five stars I think it just didn't feel like a five star book for me but it was still up there. I really enjoyed it. As I said, I loved the atmosphere of it. It was extremely whimsical and magical and it just felt like it was ingrained with magic and I don't know, the word that's coming into my head is poetry. It was like poetry and it's like the way poetry feels. I, I don't know if I mentioned, I gave it four stars. Um, I really liked the characters and I loved that there was flashback. The first few chapters I was a bit confused because it was flashback straight away but after a while I got used to it and started understanding and the story started piecing itself together and I just loved how it fell into place like a puzzle and it was just such an interesting concept for me. I think it's one that I'll reread around Christmas time. It's just full of all those like Christmassy feels for me. I know that's quite random because a lot of people associate this book with Halloween which I get because it's like a circus. I don't know why for me I associated it with Christmas and snow and winter but I just did and I thought the love story in it was absolutely heartbreakingly beautiful and it was just phenomenally done and I loved the ending. It was stunning, superb. Started off the month really great with a really great start and then the second book I finished in the month of October, I have to check there, I was about to say November, but I did not finish that many books in November. The second book I finished in the month of October was another very hyped book on booktube, but also book talk that I had been reading for, I think a few months, maybe a month before I picked it back up again in October. And I put it down because I was just quite confused and I think I mentioned it in a vlog before but then I was talking to my friend M from Perfect Paperbacks and she really made me want to pick it up and read it again because she had started reading it and was absolutely falling in love with it. I picked it up again and I ended up really enjoying it and I loved the ending and that book is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake or Olivy Blake. I'm not sure how to say her name sorry. This book in itself is quite a lot to talk about. I didn't explain the concept of the night circus either but I'm sure most of you will know. I'm sorry I haven't recorded a video in ages and I'm like all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing here. 
But the Atlas 6 is also kind of hard to explain. So there is six, I think actually seven. I don't know. There is six or seven or five. No, there's not five. There's six or seven people who come together and get approached by the kind of keeper of what is supposed to be the, what do they call it? Like the Alexandria Library. You know that like famous like library historical thing? My dumb is really coming out here. Why can't I remember? This man called Atlas comes and approaches six or seven different individuals who have very different skill sets. And there's a lot to do with magic in this story, but also not just magic, kind of just abilities in general. And we have six or seven um, very different people with very varying skill sets but also personalities and flaws and it's really interesting the way we get an insight to their different life stories but also how they interact with each other and under this forced proximity because basically they have to go to this library and kind of train to become one of the atlas six it's very secretive very kind of high stakes very only certain people get to know and yeah it's full of drama to be honest it's a whole bunch of cool people with really cool abilities that are very dramatic and i lived for it to be honest and the way it ended i want the next one immediately it's so good so well written it did make me feel a little dumb i won't lie the reason why i put it down in the first place was because i felt very dumb but all in all it had a beautiful writing style the characters were so intricately thought out and written about and I just really loved a lot of them but I also hated a few of them as well and had very strong opinions but that's how you know it's a good book you know talk I literally have spoken about two books and I've been recording for nine minutes can I take down a notch I gave that book three stars if I haven't mentioned but upon maybe a reread it probably would go up just because I would understand it more and have more backstory but because of the initial confusion I think it deserves a three stars for me. But yeah, very excited for the next one. And then the next book I read in the month of October is one that I've wanted to read for so, so, so long. And I actually have a reading vlog on it. So I'm not going to talk about it for too long. But I give it four stars. And that's Clockwork Angel, the first book in the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. So I will link the video up in the cards, whichever side it is, and down in the description if you haven't already seen that video, because you should definitely go watch it. I did mention spoilers in it though so it is spoiler filled if you haven't read Clockwork Angel do not watch it but basically I loved it I would die for Tessa Will and Jem and I cannot wait to see how the story unfolds and I'm so excited to read the next one and there definitely will be a vlog for all the books in that series so I loved that one the next book I read in the month of October was another book I loved I gave this book five stars and I spoke about it in one of my previous videos about romance books and all my favourite romance books as a newbie romance reader, I think that's what I called it. Can't remember. That book, again, I'm not going to talk about much because if you want to hear my in-depth thoughts, go watch that video, which will also be linked. It was The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Another book that's been raved about a lot and is practically everywhere right now. And it got big on TikTok. And I'm also pretty sure it's like a Rilo retelling or a Rilo fan fiction that was made into a published book. I have never watched Star Wars, don't really have any interest in watching Star Wars. So that didn't impact any of my reading experience or enjoyment of the book. So take from that what you will. But it's one of my favorite romance books ever read. If you're reading The Love Hypothesis, do check the triggers because I know there is a trigger in there for kind of sexual assault and harassment and it just was not written anywhere. I had not seen it spoken about by any other booktuber who had spoken about the book before and before I read it. So yeah, know that before you win because when I read it, I was a bit taken aback. I did not realise that was going to be there. Then the next book I read in the month of October, I gave three stars and it was another really hyped book and again, another romance book. I was in my feels in October, it seems. I was kind of disappointed with this book. Not really disappointed, but I just think a lot of people hype it up and give it more credit than, in my opinion, it deserves. But even still, I did think it was an enjoyable book and it was entertaining. And I like read it in about two days for how long it is. So that book is The Spanish Love Deception by 
Elena Armaz and I gave that book three stars. This book is a romance book and it's kind of like a fake dating book, um, grumpy sunshine, like rivals to lovers, bit of workplace romance, all that kind of stuff. It's full of tropes, like full of all the popular tropes and I'm sure you've heard about it before me but yeah it was really entertaining I thought it was really funny and the relationship was quite cute and there was different aspects in the story that I really enjoyed and I was hooked to the, to the story to be honest I did continue reading it straight away I was just constantly thinking about it which is why it got a three stars and not like a two or one star but I do think it was kind of poorly constructed and it's quite obvious that it wasn't edited properly and I'm clearly not a writer and I only read books and I'm not a very critical reader. So take from that what you will, take my opinions and thoughts with a pinch of salt. I'm not saying I know everything, but in my opinion, it could have been reduced in size by about 100 pages like it was a tad long there was some dialogue in it that I found extremely cringe like up there cringe and I know some people are like I see it on my twitter feed all the time where people are quoting these particular parts of dialogue that I just absolutely gagged at and I mean gagged in a bad way not a good way each to their own I guess it was really entertaining but yeah some of the bits in it were just a bit icky to me. The next book I read was one that I think I gave the lowest star rating of the month of October. Yeah, I gave this book two stars and I was kind of disappointed that I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. I have read another book by this author before and I've spoken about it on my channel before and the book I read was A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. Extremely unpopular opinion that I gave it two stars. I know, I am aware. I did not like Vicious by V.E. Schwab and I had such high hopes for that. I liked some aspects of it, but I just didn't get the feels that everyone was getting, which was really disappointing. A Darker Shade of Magic, like Vicious, I loved the concept of it and the whole idea behind the book. I thought it was so intriguing and so cool. I don't know what it was about both of them but A Darker Shade of Magic in particular I thought it was executed really well and it was entertaining but just for me I just didn't get what I needed from it. I did like the characters but again they weren't like fave characters like I, I wasn't obsessed with them so I think maybe that's why I gave it two stars but also the reason why I picked up this book was literally just because of Lila Bard the character of Lila Bard and I loved her in it and I feel like we didn't get enough of her even though she was in it a good amount but all in all I enjoyed it I enjoyed the writing style and I really enjoyed the plot of it I thought it was so interesting but just not enough oomph for me there wasn't enough substance then the last book I read in the month of October I also have a whole dedicated reading vlog to it so I will not speak about for too long. They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I gave this book three stars so I wrote, won't really talk about it like I said because I have a whole video on it if you want to go watch that you should. There is no spoilers in the reading vlog so if you haven't read it you can still go watch that video without being spoiled and yeah it's just because it didn't really live up to the hype for me. I was expecting something out of it that I just did not get but there was a few beautiful moments from it and yeah I talk more, more about it in the specific reading vlog so go watch that if you want to I will link it. The singular book I read in the month of November is another one I've spoken about so much so I'm not going to talk about it for too long but I ended up doing my reread of The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. As you can see I tapped it off and it is beautiful now. This was such a fun experience for me and heartbreaking experience and it was so interesting to read it again after reading it for the first time and know what happens because if you have heard me speak about the song of Achilles and my first time reading it you would know I knew nothing of the Iliad before I read this so I had no idea what was going to happen in the end and it came as a complete shock to me which was a huge factor in my enjoyment of the book and so yeah the second time around it obviously didn't hit as hard but it was still up there and I loved 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 reading it and finding the little things that hinted to the end. It was very interesting and I just loved being able to annotate all my favourite lines and quotes and everything because this book is poetry and I love the writing and Madeline Miller's writing and just the entire thing. Achilles and Patroclus's love story is folklore. It is folklore 
to quote Taylor Swift. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And yeah, I just love the process of annotating and it's so fun to me. So I just enjoyed my reread of this so much. And of course, I gave it five stars. Phenomenal. I did not sob when I read it this time, which is a bit surprising for me because I'm constantly sobbing over books. But um, yeah, nothing else can beat the very first time I read this book. <sighs> I wish I could re-read it for the very first time again and just feel that pain all over again. So that's all the books I read recently in the month of October and November. I actually also, what I'm going to briefly mention is I have read one book this month and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I am rereading that series. I'm currently on the second book, The Dream Thieves, and I'm about halfway through. I'm living for it. Obviously, it's my favourite series if you didn't know hence the jumper and I also have a tattoo of a quote from the books so if you want to go see that and the process of that I do have a video of me getting my very first tattoo which is bookish so go watch that if you want to it's very entertaining and I'm very excited in all of it <laughs> but yeah I'm rereading that series right now because serotonin literally and I have no I'm in a reading slump and that's the only thing that's keeping me entertained right now so but I hope you enjoyed this video, however chaotic it was. And I'm really sorry again that I haven't been as active on here and on my Instagram. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate those of you who stuck around when I don't have any uploads. Like this video if you want. Comment what book you've read recently that you loved. And subscribe if you'd like to. If you want to see any more chaotic content like this. Bye!